Uh, yeah, it's been a really long time. I hope everyone's been well. Uh, I haven't uploaded a video in like a very long time. As you can see, I'm still in my work uniform. I just got back home from work. But anyways, yeah, the last video I think I've uploaded was uh, where we were finishing up some engine work uh, stuff. Like, uh, I think it was uh, oil filter relocation part two. I'd have to go back and check to be honest. I don't really remember because after that, uh, I kind of had to take a break because I needed to focus more time to my work, um, to like private things that I really needed to get done, like apart from my car and with my family time, which was really important. And I did get one of my uh, teeth pulled out. That one was a, a tooth that was rottening. So we went to Dubai uh, a few months back. Actually, I think it was like a few weeks after my last video uh, to spend some time there. We took the baby and um, I had my tooth pulled out because it's a lot cheaper to do it overseas. And I mean, it's Dubai, so whatever. But anyways, yeah, it's been a while. I needed some time to rest, to think, to focus. Um, also, like this hobby isn't cheap, so I had to also save up some money. But I did get some progress on the car um, and also in the garage, there's been lots of changes. So we'll actually go around and check that momentarily. But I will start uploading videos again, not as much or as fast as I did before, but I will continue to make series and I'll add some new content like painting content, uh, panel content and stuff like that that really has to do with the car but you can apply this to any other car any other project that you're doing uh, per se because it's like general like projects that you can do but mainly it's going to be on the Miata but uh, let's go ahead and check out and see what's uh, done with the car so far all right so uh, first things first, the garage had a redesign. I actually did this uh, yesterday. No, the day before yesterday. Yesterday I had taken care of the house, cleaning up the house and stuff because my wife's not feeling well. So I had to help out uh, with my in-laws and with the baby and at the same time with the uh, house chores. But anyways, as you can see, there's a lot more space in the garage because I've cleaned it out. Um... I no longer have to use any of this, so I was able to organize everything all in line. That's the BBT motor. It's still on a <laughs> on a stand. Um, but yeah, look, the, I have this. I don't know if you guys seen this before, but it's where I keep all of my drills and drill bits and stuff like that organized. I also have some of the mounts that I use for the cameras. I have shop towels and I can actually pull them out now. Um, and that's my workstation. As you guys notice in most of my videos, this was over here and it was a big mess. But now it's all clean. We've got a grease cleaner for your hands. We've got some new stands. I have my uh, my my creeper right there and I also have my, my ramp rolls there. I have my cleaning solution there and the vacuum. The, my trusty uh, trash can, as usual, does a very good job at collecting trash and that's about it. And I have my roller where I sit, uh, dash, and just miscellaneous parts. But I was able to really organize this. Now, I mean, this is not the best uh, in terms of organization. However, it's the best that I can do for, for what I have at the moment until I can actually get like two toolbox um, work tables i don't know if you've seen those in harbor freight or like the husky style that's got like a a wooden top and then they've got drawers on the bottom and you can roll them two of those and then two cabinets where i can organize everything and then i can get rid of all these but until then i mean it does the job here's all the paint that we're going to be using um uh paint material and like tapes and and paper and all that good stuff masks sanders then we've got our fluids over here and then just miscellaneous shop stuff here my general toolbox and then all my specialty tools over here we've got our my torque wrenches and the timing light the bp4w so these are like miscellaneous parts i'm working on the headlights now doing low pros and these are brakes uh and rotors for my wife's chr 
Uh, I got oil filters there, more miscellaneous parts there. Um, my tools and my sockets all nice and like organized, not all over the place. And then the different type of socket tools that I've got here and just more parts, parts and parts and parts and more parts. And then me on the specific tools over here. And that's basically it. As for the car, um, I was test fitting the, the fenders and I always recommend that you use OEM, even if they're used, as long as they're in good condition, I would recommend because these things do not line up. And I swear, I promise you that when I bought this car, it was not crashed. I've never crashed this car, but as you can see, these, like this gap is like terrible very terrible and it's worse when you put the hood on um not this side not so bad but this side there's like a really big gap and they're gonna be like oh did you like get in the accident no i didn't as a matter of fact you can see how here i've got a marker where i'm gonna have to like basically like widen the holes and stuff because you can see how look it doesn't even line up like the thread you can't even see it but the the thread, look at the thread. Look at all that, like it doesn't line up at all, like very good at all. It's like very terrible gap. But yeah, I just fitted on some of the panels just to see how it looks and it actually looks like a car for once. Um, but yeah, I've got the wheels. I Max PD Rod finally, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they finally figured out my strut a problem so we got that settled and I got them back onto the car I don't know if you can see the blue springs but there you go I mean these are these are really just temporary coilovers so I can adjust the height and see exactly where I want this car to like the height and how like the load that I want on the car so that when I actually get real good coilovers like reputable coilovers like I have an idea already what I what I the setup that I would like. We got a new bumper from Treasure Coast and a new trunk from Treasure Coast. Uh, I did have a um, like a bluish greenish uh, trunk, but it was in really bad shape. Uh, but I'm gonna use that to paint the lip because it's already got the the rib nuts in them. And uh, no, basically that's it for the car. I was able to snatch a few seats. Um, and then I got like the harness inside, but I actually tried getting the car started uh, the other day and it was a complete fail. Uh, there must be some ground or some harness that I, I mix match or didn't connect properly. So uh, I'm going to have to diagnose that tomorrow. Um, I did the AC delete, so I have that little hose right there. I I was able to, uh, this is the ISR uh, short shifter and then like this little six speed um, shift knob that uh, it's yellow, black and yellow and and it matches the yellow that I'm painting the car. But yeah, it's got a little bit. Of, this was an accident. This was uh, uh, one of the nozzles on the paint uh, was bad and it started spraying all over the place. And as you can see, uh, and I, I had to run with the can outside. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, but if you if you have in the videos, I'm like, here's more of it, and then here and here and here. So like that that's actually what happened. But basically, the car is almost ready, like to be started. Actually, it's ready to be turned on. All it, I need to figure out is why it's not cranking or starting, which is not a big deal. We're gonna have a tech day. Um, the tentative day is the 23rd, but it's not for sure. And look at this stupid guy running on the car. I hate these German cockroaches. They're so like, it's disgusting. But anyways, so the, the car has, uh, the engine has oil. I didn't forget that. The Mishimoto radiator, uh, it's got the coolant, and then you can see some coolant there. The transmission has fluid, the diff has fluid. So the only thing that really, really, really needs fluid um, is the clutch and the brake master, because 
we don't have power steering and we don't have AC. Um, the steering rack, I depowered it. I took it apart, cleaned it, re-greased it and filled it with some grease. And then um, they have these plugs. There's a plug kit that you can buy on eBay or anywhere and you can just um, plug all the ports so that no water or debris gets inside. <clears throat> and then I did get the stiff bushings for for the rack. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's a blue it's a blue set of bushings that goes there. And I also got a rack spacer so when the car gets lowered, there's no uh, steering bump. Uh, I did take away the the oil filter relocation because it man it's a pain in the butt man and it, it was already leaking so I just put the oil oil filter back and I'll just have to be very particular every time I do an oil change I'll have to put like a plastic or paper or something down here and then like that same day I'm gonna have to clean it clean it really well with soap and and then wash the car so uh, it's a car wash day every time I change my oil that's just to avoid having the oil like sit on the subframe and then sit on the side of the engine and look all crusty and smelling all bad and stuff because I, I really want to have a clean car but this is where we are today um that's about it so yeah um i'll i'll continue to put vid uh, post videos on everything that I'm gonna do I might not do it as frequently or as often as I used to do it but uh, yeah the channel continues to go on uh, who, who's ever subscribed and is watching this video um, it's it's been a long time and sorry but I also had to dedicate personal time with uh, myself uh, uh, also in my faith and then with my family it's really important and I I don't stress enough that if you have a family, just try to spend time with them as much as possible. It's really important and family always comes first. Um, this project car isn't going anywhere right now, um, but it's always gonna be there. Material things uh, come and go. Family, uh, marriage, children, that experience is a one-time thing. So it's something that I need to take a break, so I won't upload as often, like I mentioned, like three or four times already in this video, but I can't stress it enough because I want to also dedicate more time to my job, more time to like the personal things that I do uh, in my life, um, and then time with my family as well. So, but it's a short video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned because we will start. I'll, I, we, I, yeah, we have that. I'll start uploading videos on like painting panels and stuff and I'm gonna uh, get in contact with our group chat uh, host and see if we can actually record the tech day and see if we can get a uh, uh, recording of this thing actually getting started and have a bunch of Miatas parked in the front lot. So uh, thanks for tuning in, short uh, video update on everything that's been going on and stay safe and be well.